ACIM Insights, Lesson 198 Only my condemnation injures me. I am only tempted to condemn what appears to be in a world outside me when I forget that the world is a dream that is coming from my mind. When I make the world of the ego real, it is sinking in clearer and clearer that this is an unforgiveness that is incurring in my mind. This is where forgiveness is needed, in my own mind. Forgiveness means letting go of the belief in separation. When I get too wrapped up in the dream, I may think that judgment or condemnation of what I see as outside me may help or be the answer. When I make the dream real, I have forgotten that. Only my condemnation injures me. It is only when I am willing to quiet my mind and listen for Holy Spirit's perspective of oneness that the pain of condemning something or someone in a world outside will subside. Being willing to be open to the Holy Spirit is the only answer that will really be successful. The more I recognize this, the quicker I will be able to let go of making the dream of separation appear to be real. To every apprehension, every care, and every form of suffering, I will forgive and this will disappear. Forgiveness or letting go of illusions is the secret to my freedom from suffering. The times when I have truly forgiven, truly recognized that there really was nothing to forgive, have brought me deep peace, quiet joy, and uplifted me with love. It was a great relief. I felt free as a feather, floating in a gentle breeze. It astounds me that with these experiences I don't go searching for all unforgiving thoughts to bring them to Holy Spirit to be undone, so that I can continue to experience the freedom and ecstasy of forgiveness. There is no greater high than true forgiveness. It's a gift that keeps on giving. And yet there is a part of my mind that does not believe I am worthy of such a gift. And so it goes searching for thoughts of unforgiveness, but not to bring them to healing. Instead, it uses these thoughts to further justify condemnation and prove unworthiness. This part of my mind treasures its privacy and isolation. It would rather suffer the pain of guilt from condemnation then join with all love and lose its special, unique identity. This is the core belief, the core unforgiveness that lies beneath all the layers of unforgiveness events and thoughts. The ego would use the fact that I still have judgmental thoughts, that I still experience guilt, as proof that I am weak and deserve condemnation. The Holy Spirit does not believe this one instant. The Holy Spirit sees my true self and knows that all these other thoughts that I believe I hold are just illusions. And so with a kindly smile, he offers me his hand to give me his strength and remind me that I am not alone. With his strength, I can forgive each unforgiving thought, lay it down and let it go. With his guidance, I will begin to see the sameness of these mistaken thoughts. At first they are forgiven one by one, but as I begin to see what they all have in common, the forgiveness of a single incident can reverberate through my mind, for I recognize more and more thoughts that are the same and are forgiven as one. The path to freedom accelerates. Today, I would remember forgiveness is the only thing I want, and so I will remember forgiveness is the only thing I want to give. It is my own forgiveness that sets me free.